Welcome back to Secret Weapons, and today we're taking a look at the LEM by Mastro Valvola. The LEM, or Lysergic Emotions Module, that is the name, it's right here, is a tiny, tiny pedal with an absolutely massive sound in it. This is a multi-head delay with a series of really, really wild algorithms in it. I don't know about you, but when I think about multi-tap delay, my mind immediately goes back to kind of vintage tape delays and drum delays. And very rarely does my mind drift to really big, sweeping, ambient delay modes. But that's what this thing has in spades. This thing has eight insane, really, really ambitious delays inside of it. Uh, a series of reverse delays, including one where you can set the percentage of delay repeats that come back forward or reversed. This thing has some of the most unique and bizarre delay modes I've ever heard. Five of the modes in this thing are pitch shifting. Four of them are octaves and one of them is a fifth up, which is really cool and can create some really kind of skittery runaway ambient textures, or it can be dialed in to be much more subtle. And that's a big thing about this pedal is this thing is built to kind of really stand out and create some really striking borderline wacky modes, but it can also be reined in really, really well and made to be really subtle. The bit crushing on this thing, which by the way, yes, this has a bit crush mode, sounds great and has an octave below to really give you these deep dragging repeats that sound very like menacing, but in a very cool way. Of course, you can also do bit crushing an octave above if, if that's more your speed. I would say the closest thing to kind of a standard delay on this thing is the multi-tap mode where the uh, special filter control right here is kind of adjusting the wow and flutter of your repeats. It can get really kind of wide in that like scope that you get with the wowing that happens on the repeats, but it can also be dialed way back for like pretty much just clean standard delay if that's your fare. And if that's what you're looking for here, you have your tap tempo, you have your wet dry, like you have everything that you need to create a really solid standard delay. And we'll touch on that a little bit, but you've also got the ability to really take this thing into ambient territory that is very, very special. The inclusion of presets on this thing is another thing that I'm a really, really big fan of. The number of modes you have on here, the number of ways that you can coordinate the number of modes on this thing, the number of ways that you can control your expression input and the alternate function of the top two knobs here is really going to encourage you to take advantage of the presets on this thing. And the presets that come built into it are really good and really great for kind of pulling you out of a creative rut. But once again, save over them, make them your own. This thing is wildly capable of creating giant soundscapes. There's really not a whole lot more to say about this thing. It it sounds really good. It sounds incredibly unique. It's not without fault. Uh, I would love, I would love to have seen a really strong low pass filter on this thing for some of those high octave things. Sometimes I feel like the filter on here doesn't quite do everything that I hope it would. Uh, I wish that there was a strong tone control here, but short of that, I think that the sounds built into it are really good. They don't get overly harsh. The way that those octaves build up above can have a very kind of cool granular sound to them. They feel very natural. They don't feel inorganic or overly digital. And I think that that's, I think that's a good testament to the algorithms in this thing and how, and how well this thing takes your signal and really mangles it in beautiful ways. So yeah, this thing is great for pulling yourself out of a writing rut. It's great for creating giant sweeping octavey pads. And so without kind of ranting too much more about it, let's just put this back on the board. Let's get it plugged in and let's just run through some of the different feature sets. Yeah, let's dive in. Okay, so let's run through some of my favorite modes on this thing. Let's start off with our quote unquote dry tone, which is going to be the Harmony Silhouette into a Diamond Compressor, the Walrus Audio EB10, the Benson Vinny, and the New Neighbor Wet into the Strymon Iridium for cabinets. And the LEM. This is the multi-mode that lets you decide what percentage of your repeats come back as reversed uh, repeats versus straightforward. So if you take the special knob and you move it all the way to this side, you will get mostly reverse. And if you take it the other direction, you'll get the exact opposite. Let's 
kill the dry mode so we can hear that a little more clearly. Another mode I love on this thing is the octave down bit crush, where you take out the dry tone completely and you basically play slightly delayed octave down bit crush guitar. earlier how much I love reverse delay and so let's dive into one of my favorite reverse modes on this thing it's a reverse delay with an LFO controlling a four pole filter that can create some really cool moving tones in that reverse <laughs> modes like this can also be used for really really killer like swell pad moments and everything if you add some extra stuff behind it so let's get the mercury 7 and the polymoon turned on and just do some cool moving phaser reverse delay swells Another thing that I'm totally enamored with on this thing, as we discussed earlier, is the octave down bit crushing sounds that this thing has. They're really, really substantial. So, uh, so we're turning on some other modulation and movement, and rather than having the LEM function as specifically a delay unit, it's gonna be more as a like texture tone setting piece of the puzzle. And then we're gonna let other things kind of float that bit crushing sound.
So let's walk through a couple of the presets that come loaded on this thing. Thank you. 